DJI may be the big dog in drones, but it plays third fiddle to GoPro and Insta360 in the action cam market. To rectify that, the company just released the Osmo Action 6 with two innovative new features, a variable aperture and a big new square sensor. As the company's new flagship action cam, the Action 6 squares up against GoPro's Hero 13 and the Insta360 Ace Pro 2. Both of those cameras are better for most users in daylight, but if you shoot a lot at night or indoors, the Osmo Action Cam 6 may be for you. Let's look at the first key feature, the variable f2 to f4 aperture. This allows for brighter video and improved stabilization when shooting at night compared to the fixed f2.8 aperture on the Action 5 Pro. It also offers shallower depth of field and more flexibility on sunny days. The drawback though is a lack of full manual control. You can only set it to a few fixed modes or auto settings ranging from f2 to f4. Unfortunately, that means that f2 is not available as a fixed aperture, which is too bad as that would be ideal for portraits. Still, variable aperture is a highly useful feature. In auto mode, it ramps from one setting to another in fine steps, so I never saw any exposure jumps. In low light, I could dial the ISO range down to avoid excessive noise, giving me higher video quality. However, I'd like to see manual control in a future update. Another key feature is the new 1 by 1.1 inch square sensor that allows a wide variety of resolutions and aspect ratios. The Action 6 supports vertical and horizontal resolutions up to 4K in either 16x9 or 4x3 aspect ratios. The key new setting though is custom, which lets you shoot 4K by 4K square video. At 60 frames per second, which is a standard frame rate for action video, it offers more vertical resolution than GoPro's Hero 13 and the Insta360 Ace Pro 2. The benefit is that you can film for both horizontal and vertical video platforms with no need to rotate the camera and no loss in resolution. The same reason Apple adopted a square sensor on the iPhone 17. I tested the custom aspect ratio in DaVinci Resolve Studio and it made exports a breeze. First, I created and exported a standard 4K horizontal timeline, then simply copied the contents to a vertical timeline. After reframing a few shots to keep the action centered, I was able to immediately export a 4K TikTok video. With a 30% larger sensor, the Action 6 is better for night or interior shooting at ISO 6400 and up. Compared to the Action 5 Pro, nighttime video from the Action 6 was less noisy. The dedicated night setting has also improved because noise reduction is applied less aggressively and thus video looks more natural. The new sensor and variable aperture also help DJI's Rocksteady 3 digital stabilization in low light. If you're filming from a bicycle at night, for instance, the Action 6 will use a higher shutter speed than the Action 5 so video will be sharper. That helps the stabilization algorithm produce a better result with less pixelation and tearing. In daylight conditions, the Action 6 delivers sharp, color-accurate video that can be used straight out of the camera, just like the Action 5. However, in contrasty scenarios like a sun-dappled forest trail, the Action 6 has a slight advantage. When I engage the 10-bit D-Log M setting to boost dynamic range, I noticed that dark shadow areas had more detail and less noise than the Action 5 Pro or GoPro Hero 13. That said, the GoPro Hero 13's extra horizontal resolution is an advantage, especially for YouTube and other 16x9 formats. The Action 6 offers the same fields of view as before with one nice addition called Natural Wide. And finally, the Action 6's new film tone feature helps you get some fun looks straight out of the camera, like pristine and cool tones and classic negative film type. Apart from the change in the sensor and new variable aperture, the Action 6 hasn't changed much. Because of that larger sensor, it's slightly bigger than the Action 5 Pro in all dimensions and just a touch heavier. It has built-in storage of 50 gigabytes, up slightly from 47 gigabytes before, along with a micro SD card slot. It uses the same 1950 milliamp hour battery as the Action 5 and Osmo 360, delivering about two hours of 4K 30p shooting on a charge. As before, it's waterproof to 66 feet by itself, 
or nearly 200 feet with DJI's waterproof case. And on top of voice control, the Action 6 now supports gestures as well, so you can wave at the camera to start and stop video. With a bigger sensor and larger aperture than the competition, DJI's Osmo Action 6 is now the best action camera on the market for night shooting, delivering clean, sharp video with better stabilization than other models. It's also ideal for users who output to both YouTube and TikTok. For regular daytime shooting though, the extra resolution offered on GoPro's Hero 13 might be better for some users. Or it may come down simply to price. DJI's Osmo Action 6 starts at $379, compared to $309 for the Hero 13 Black and $420 for Insta360's Ace Pro 2. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe.